and the threat isn't completely done yet. So let's go right to um, first warn Doppler radar because I want to show you we've got some new flood warnings being issued. Um, this is a, a flash flood warning now. I um, mean, a lot of your phones were probably going off when this went off. This is for Chester, Mecklenburg Union and York counties. This is a flash flood warning that's up until late tonight, 7 p.m. I say late because it's still only barely two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, that flash flooding is for runoff that is continuing. Now, the thing I'm going to have to watch here is, you know, the tornado threat is, is diminished a little bit, but the fact that we're seeing so much rainfall right now has me concerned that we could see um, water rescues, flash flood emergency possibly issued because it's not, this rainfall is not moving. Uh, we've seen up to two inches of rain just in the last couple of hours. Uh, a lot of creeks, including uh, Briar Creek, McMullen Creek, Sugar Creek are all rising very quickly and they'll be above or bank full very shortly. So if you live by any of those creeks, I need you to go ahead and make sure you get to higher ground. If it's just your backyard that normally floods, you might want to start moving things away from the creek um, because potentially we're going to have some, some flooding going on here um, shortly. And again, a lot of folks are out cleaning these messes up, but there's more rain coming in. So the potential is you're going to be stuck out in possibly some strong storms. And let me show you the radar real quickly because um, I turned the lightning off earlier. We don't have as much lightning coming up from the southwest, but lightning is always always something we fear as we're outside out and about trying to clean up. But look at this line. I'm just going to loop this a couple of times and you can see how the movement of that line is pretty much sitting right on top of the I-85 corridor um, with it not moving very quickly. This is going to continue to produce flash flooding in and around Union County, Southern Mecklenburg, that panhandle of Lancaster County, Rock Hill, Fort Mill, Tiga K, Chester, McConnell's, all the way back into Union County, South Carolina. So with that line just sitting there at a rainfall rates of one to two inches per hour, we're possibly going to see flash flooding become a much bigger issue. Now, meteorologist Aisha Scott is in the Weather Center with me, and I don't know if you're mic'd up, but I'll ask you, what, what kind of totals have I you am. been seeing? Yeah, and I was actually looking at some of the um, the creeks, the cameras as well. So they have obviously come up, and some of them have been o overflowing their banks. Uh, but let me look at some of these rainfall uh, totals, because the <laughs> website that we're using, Brad, um, is the Mecklenburg County website, uh, FINS, and some of these totals just over the past 12 hours wow. over three inches of rain in places like Westport, Davidson, uh, over two and three quarters of an inch of rain. Also, as we work our way a little bit farther down to the south, close to say Pineville. I know that's where the heaviest of the rain right now is still sitting over that area, but so far just over two inches of rain uh, in the past 12 hours. And again, because of the heavy rain that's still falling there, those numbers are going to continue to go up. 